uh today is thursday april uh 14th i took some hours off from work and then i'm also taking off tomorrow to spend time with the kids it's spring break and the kids have just been home um doing nothing so i just took tomorrow off and I'm not sure where i left off in the vlog but i just came back from my doctor's appointment so i'm home now after working this morning and i want to um see if i can unbox this bathtub tray i'm trying to figure out the lights in here and oof. Ugh, different lights so i got this from amazon it's a bathtub tray and yeah i want to see if i can unbox it my idea is to put it here in my bathtub i've got some this for um bath for bathing in the tub it's in one of my videos i got it from um senses 100 senses and then i got these epsom salt solution this was like months back so i have these and this and then the tray to start bathing i mean i have never that i can remember had like a proper proper bath in a tub like a proper like tub bath i think it was just one of like a hotel or travel times my husband and i where we were just stay in the tub depending on if the tub was in the room or whatever years back i mean for the past 10 15 years i haven't had a bath in the tub if that makes sense at home so i want to try this now that i have a tub at home i want to try and start having nice baths and stuff like that because i i feel like it would help with my health as well so i'm going to unbox that and then i also got some um art supplies um so i love art i love painting i haven't been to any like art classes or anything but i've been learning like on youtube and stuff like that and i want to continue that process of learning um so the art supplies i got these from hobby lobby i'll show you later i want to start like doing some abstract art I was doing watercolor like maybe a couple of years back i'll continue that at some point i have a video on my supplies for watercolor painting that i packed before we moved to this um house so i want to start like doing it again and teaching myself because it's really 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 like um comforting for me and stuff like that so i'm going to show you what i got and then hopefully as the weather becomes nicer i would start painting probably in the screened in porch or something like that we'll see depending on the time i have in between work and other things and then what else am i going to do today um yeah i think that's what i'll do today so now let me unbox this bathtub tray and show you how it looks hopefully it fits the tub okay ordering this the tray um, it said it came with like a pillow for the bathtub because I was trying to order a pillow that I could use with the tray like separately but when I saw that this had both I was like okay let me try it um hopefully I don't I wouldn't have to return this because I'm gonna tear this out now and it's a bamboo tray these people are saying thank you for your purchase blah 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 what should we do if you're happy or unhappy anyway so that's that and so let me open everything here because it says is a wine glass holder iphone slot holder phone slot holder candle cup slot book tablet holder detachable spa trays Okay. I mean, it seems easy enough, right? And then this comes up like this. And 
then you can put in, okay. So I'm getting the gist now. So if my head is here, this can stay here, right? Okay. And then, oh, I can put the cup through here. Meaning the, the wine glass. Mm -hmm. And this is how it looks. So it's not too long. I guess I put my head on my neck here. And it's got the suction that you can put on the bathtub. And then my guess is if you want to dry it, you can just hang it and then air dry it after washing it. I did check Amazon. And yeah, I have my tab here. <laughs> and this is how it looks. So these trays that are detachable, you just put them here and they stay like that. This one as well, stay like that. And I'm guessing the soap holder can be here like if you wanna add soap or something to and it extends all the way to 43 inches if it's extended and like about 30 inches if it's closed so that's great for all the bathtubs and my tab is here with its own cover but it's wide enough for my samsung galaxy tab so I'm guessing any iPad or whatever can stay on that. And then here, I'm just going to place this. Actually, I feel like it should be higher because my neck cannot just stay here, right? So I'm placing it a little higher here. Oopsies. I may have to figure out how to do the suctions for the pillow. How many sections are there actually? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is how it looks. I may need it higher. And this is how this looks. So in my mind, if I'm staying in, this should be able to work. This just has to stay properly. It doesn't look like there's a way to hook it up to the tub itself it's just to me it looks like it's just going to stay like this let's see what this says so that's a detachable spa tray that's a soap holder so this is the phone slot so where you put your phone this is a candle or cup slot which i guessed and then this is where the wine glass holder will be and then you can put a book or tablet here, which is what I've done. And that's her doing her thing. And yeah, it doesn't look bad, right? So yeah, that's nice. Oh wait, there's a video somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a video. And this is how it looks. So this, I see that this one should be higher. So I'm going to put it higher because the way it looks on the video is higher than that. And nice. Even the top looks like my top. Okay. This is a nice setup for my bath. I do have something that I can put here like a carpet right now. It's by my bed. I I interswitch them because we haven't gotten it, excuse me, we haven't gotten a carpet yet. So this I put next to my bathtub. We haven't gotten a, anything yet for my bedroom, so that's why. So I put that there, I mean, coming out. So let me try entering inside the tub and hopefully not breaking anything and see if it works. Okay, that 
seem to work. <laughs> oh, I'm getting excited because it was really comfortable in the tub. So moving this up made it more comfortable also for my neck. So I just have to, whoops, just have to get used to that and just hook, okay. Hook this up here and here. And yeah, this is not bad at all. <laughs> I'm getting excited. On the day I'll use this. And I wonder how long I'm gonna stay in the tub and everything. <sighs> I just need that. I can't wait to just have like the warmth of the water. So this is the water. So yeah, I'm excited. Looks good. I just turned on YouTube. <laughs> Looks good. Okay. I'll let you know how I how it goes when I take a bath. But so far, this looks good. So yeah, so just to recap, this is a bamboo adjustable organizer bath tray. <laughs> if you wanna try this, the link is in the description below. This is not sponsors or anything. I just wanted to show you how I'm going through the process of figuring this out for my bath area because I really want to enjoy this experience. It's gonna be something new but I want to enjoy the experience. So yeah, thank you. Okay, so the next thing now is to show you some of my art supplies. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Um, I got this 16 by 20 canvas set. Uh, it was $12.99 or even less. And it's great for oil or acrylic painting. It's a five pack. And yeah, it's the five in it and it's 16 by 20. Um, I'm doing a class right now. I don't know if I um, talked about it before, apart from YouTube, looking at all the painting and stuff. They had said maybe 48 by 28 or whatever. And I was like, no, let me just start with this and see how I can go with it based on what they wanted us to get per supplies. Um, the second thing I got was oil paint set. They wanted a pastel oil paint set, but I couldn't find pastel colors. But I got this just, I mean, I could create pastel colors from this. So it's an oil paint set. And I can't remember how much it was. It says $9.99 here, but I have to look at the receipt. But it's 12 count. That. Um, oh yeah, the receipt is here. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, there were no sales or anything, so it was $9.99. Wait, no. $9.99 minus $5, 50% off. It was $4.99. Okay, that works. So, <laughs> um, and then they said palette knives. So I got a few palette knives. Just, I don't know. I mean, the person who I'm doing the art class with has bigger palette knives, but I just said, let me try this for now. And... We also need a thick body acrylic uh, paint and this is ivory black and white titanium there are two of these so i got i got the white and the black you see that i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited and then so all that i'm gonna put back here and then i also got other colors so i got primary yellow and then so that was a primary yellow and then there's the cadmium yellow medium hue so apparently all these different colors are like different they have different hues this is a cadmium orange hue this is 9.99 <laughs> if you can see that yep and this is cadmium red medium hue <laughs> i can't wait and this is ultramarine blue so that's this one 
And this is $5.99. And is there anything else? And that's it. Oh, um, part of the list was to get brushes. I already have brushes based on the, the the video I showed you about my watercolor supplies. And I have, I have like a number of brush sets. So I didn't get brushes in this particular trip. So yeah, this is everything. And I'm just excited to sit down. I have an easel somewhere, so I have to bring it out from... I had put it in storage before I moved. But I have an easel that could hopefully hold the 16 by 20 canvas. Yeah, I, I do have an easel. I also showed you the easel in that video. And yes, so I'm going to do another video of like setting these things up and just kind of like getting started with painting. A lot to learn. I'm not a painter. I just, I could be creative. I love being creative. I mean, photography and all of that. So I want to open this arena and really, really start like, I don't know, start this whole process when I have the time. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So yeah, so we'll see how things go and I'll let you know what I do. I'll probably be showing them on my Instagram stories. So follow me on Instagram, Isoa Gallery. And yes, I'm excited. I will do all of this. I'll start working on all of this soon. I'm just excited. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm going to spend some time with my kids now. We're going to see a movie. Well, not see a movie, but at least watch a movie downstairs. I'm thinking of taking them to the theater tomorrow. I mean, because I have tomorrow off. So that should be fun. And um, yeah, I just want to spend time with my babies. <laughs> I love them so much and hopefully my husband will be doing his meeting so we can have family time together okay take care I'm just so I'm trying to be Zen right now because I literally just got back from hydration and doctor's appointment and I don't want to stress myself I'm just gonna take some medication and just have a chilled evening we may order something and see how it goes because it's so dark right now it's like raining it's only 2 58 now I'm calling it an evening. It's not even three o'clock yet. It's almost three though. Anyways, okay. Um, oh, I do have a meeting with somebody that, that a meeting that relates to my nonprofit is so warrior. I'm still thinking of things to do with that. And my nonprofit is basically on sickle cell disease, which is a chronic illness that I have. So I'm trying to work on all of that to help people in America and mostly Nigeria as well. So I'm meeting with a PR person. No wait, it's a project. Anyways, somebody in Nigeria and we're just trying to write up stuff about Iso Warrior and all that stuff. So I have that meeting with him at four o'clock. So that's in an hour's time. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Let me stop talking and blabbing. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment and share. And remember, always remember to let your cup run it over. Bye.